Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Here you will find game reviews, playthroughs, and if you're interested in games at all, you've come to the right place. Cyberpunk 2077 is a huge game, and it's possible that more hidden content will be discovered in it for a long time to come. But even so, fans didn't sit idle and explored every nook and cranny of Night City to find content that could easily be missed on the first playthrough. I've gathered some details and small secrets from Cyberpunk 2077 that you might have missed. Meredith Stout's body You encounter Militech employee Meredith Stout in the very first act during the The Pickup quest when you're tasked with finding a combat drone for Dexter Deshawn. Dexter describes her as a crazy corporate who's running around the city like a maniac trying to find her corporation's stolen weapons truck. And as it turns out, she has substantial reasons for doing so because her life literally depends on this operation. During the quest, Meredith suspects her assistant, Anthony Gilchrist, of being an accomplice to the thieves and offers to pay the Maelstrom gang with a virus-infected chip containing Militeca's money. If you decide to clean the chip of the virus and pay Militeca's money, on the way out of the factory, you'll be met by Anthony, who says that Meredith will no longer bother him, her. Later on, you can find Meredith's body underwater on the Arasaka waterfront. She will be bald, disfigured, and her legs will be encased in concrete. That's the price she pays for failing Militech. Sandra Dorset on milk cartons during one of the early missions, The Rescue, V and Jackie rescue high-level corporate executive Sandra Dorset, who was kidnapped for her implants. At least that's how it appears at first glance, but that's not the focus here. An interesting detail is that at the time of Sarah's rescue, we can assume that she had been missing for a while, and if the client turned to a fixer, it's clear that the police couldn't find anything. Evidence of this can be found on milk cartons scattered throughout the city. If you take a closer look at them, you'll see Sarah's photo with the word missing on them. Mr. Blue Eyes in the The Heist Mission The Heist mission is one of the keys to uncovering the secret conspiracy in Night City. By combining this mission with separate quests involving Sandra Dorset and Johnny Silverhand, you can discover that a mysterious organization called Night Corporation is controlling the city. The biggest hint lies precisely in this mission. According to the storyline, we discover that someone is altering the memories and consciousness of mayoral candidate Jefferson Perales and his wife for unknown purposes, but our investigations lead to nothing. The mission ends with B being attacked by a netrunner who warns that we are treading on thin ice and that nothing will change even if we tell Perales. In the park where you meet Perales, if you start looking around, you can spot someone observing us from one of the balconies overlooking the park, and upon closer inspection, it turns out to be Mr. Blue Eyes. The same person who sends B on a certain mission in two different endings of the game. If you found this video interesting, please subscribe and hit the like button, and see you in another video.